Super Bowl. Oh my God. I can't believe it, man. I can't believe it. Madden 23 Wheel of Mutt. It's been one hell of a ride, boys, but the ride doesn't end here. I have to win the Super Bowl to become a season's champion and at the same time win more rings than I've ever won in an entire year of Wheel of Mutt. We've been doing Wheel of Mutt since March 21st of 20. 17. That was the date that the first ever Wheel of Mutt was posted. Now, almost six years later, we're sitting here with a final episode and a final Super Bowl. I just wanted to reminisce and thank you guys for all the amazing memories and for all the amazing ones we're going to continue to make. Now, let's talk Wheel of Mutt. If somehow this is your first ever video, in Wheel of Mutt, I start with a dog water team and I spin the wheel to add players to my squad. If I win the game, I keep the players and my end goal is to win the Super Super Bowl, of course, and this season we have built one of the greatest teams I've ever seen in Wheel of Mutt. Our prestiges were all, every single one, spectacular. Justin Jefferson, Nigerian Nightmare, Megatron, TJ Hawkinson, Jason Kelsey, Micah Parsons, Troy Palamalu, Sauce Gardner, Eric Berry. We saw the payoff. We filled almost every single position with a God Squad player, and we're not even done yet because we get three spins here today on the Super Bowl. We've got amazing special teamers. We've got amazing depth at a lot of positions. We've got all the strong abilities on offense and defense. There is no excuse to lose today's game. Now, it may be a long time until I see you guys again for another season of Wheel of Mutt for Madden 24, but I'll still be dropping heaters. A wise man once said, do not be sad that it's over. Only be grateful that it ever once was. In fact, I remind myself of that quote every single time when I think about that time I piped your mom. Now, I may have only laughed lasted four seconds, but I'm grateful that it once was. I can't be sad that it's over. So gentlemen, one more Super Bowl, three more wheel spins. Let's have a day, gentlemen. The final season, the final episode. What do we got here, gentlemen? I want to see what our first wheel spin's gonna be. It's the divisions wheel. Let's go. I don't think you guys have seen this video yet. I did a video where I spin the wheel of divisions. It's an awesome video, but it hasn't posted yet. I can take any 97 or 98 player. However, they must come from the AFC North. The AFC North is the Cincinnati Bengals, the Cleveland Browns, the Baltimore Ravens, and the Pittsburgh Steelers. What is a position of need? We really don't have one. Like, if I be honest, we don't have one. But Scary Terry, he's okay. I think he could be better. We could definitely have a better wide receiver there. I know exactly who I'm going with. I can get a 98 overall player from the AFC North. We are adding our second team of the year wide receiver. The player I'm electing to take. Oh, blow me. Oh, get down on your knees and blow Hello, me, EA. Are you? How is there? No oh, 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 someone just posted him. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, it's written into destiny. It's fate. It's the Wheel of Mutt Super Bowl. I didn't have to think about this one too much. The AFC North player that I'm choosing is 98 overall Jamar Chase. I think a right end would have been slightly more meta. Like, it's what my team needed more. But come on, man. I haven't gotten to use a Jamar Chase card all year. Bengals fans, I know you were salty about it. 99 jump, 98 speed. Absurdly good stats. He's bigger. Thicker, girthier than scary Terry McLaurin, and he's actually significantly faster. This is a huge wide receiver upgrade. We haven't even considered his discounted abilities. I don't know what he's gonna get here. All those cost one. I'm not gonna do that, but I will do something that's free. Short in, route tech, deep out, or mid out. Oh, that's tough. Short in is good for man coverage. Deep out is good for corner routes. I don't think I'm gonna beat man coverage with slants and drags. I'm gonna beat man coverage with corner routes. I'm gonna give him deep out elite for free. Jamar Chase. Welcome to the team, my guy. What a sick upgrade. In goes Jamar Chase. Out goes Scary Terry. My wide receivers are now Justin Jefferson, Megatron, and Jamar Chase. All right, gentlemen, our first upgrade is a huge one. It's hard to upgrade this team right now, but I'll definitely take 98 Jamar Chase any day of the week. Our next one is a Team Diamond. Now, listen, I put 98 Team Diamonds fantasy pack here because a while ago in the store, there was actually a Team Diamonds fantasy pack. However, I don't think it's still in the store. And if it's not still in the store, it's a jackpot anyway. The point is I get to choose one player from Team Diamonds. It's just, it looks a little cleaner when you actually have the pack, you know? Oh, that pack is gone. It must have been limited. So these are the 98 overall Team Diamonds. Every single team got one 98 overall. 
overall, they're really, really good with crazy good discounted abilities. Foyusad was a golden wheel mutt a long time ago. Where would Foyusad go, though? I think I'm gonna get this Foyusad Aluakon, man. Not only as an homage to Foyusad Aluakon of Wheel of Mutt Madden 18, which is, holy shit, so long ago, but there's one attribute here that really gets me going. 98 change of direction. I'm going Foyusad Aluakon, man. Boo, I'm really gonna have to decide if he's actually gonna replace Micah as my user, or if he just goes to MLB 2. Gentlemen, our first two wheel spins give us a 98 overall each. You can't ask for much more, but I will right now. I'm asking for a little bit more. Oh my God. Of course, for the Super Bowl, we're going to get the most cracked spins. That's what I need. Game Changers promo. Where are we, Game Changers? So I've already got Batonio. I've already got Justin Herbert. I think the best case scenario for me here is Derek Brown. My current backup T-tackle is John Kaminsky, who's actually been playing really well. So I feel bad taking him out. But 98 T-tackle Derek Brown, 6'5", 320. With those incredible stats and 86 speed. It just has to be better. And you know he's going to have really good discounted abilities too. In fact, he may actually replace Darnell Dockett and Darnell Dockett will move down to D-tackle too because Derek Brown, Derek Brown should be better than Darnell Dockett. Darnell Dockett is slightly faster with seven more acceleration. Derek Brown has more strength, five more play rack, one more block shed. Oh, no, I take it back. Darnell Dockett is better. I'm gonna keep Darnell Dockett as the starter, but Derek Brown will be an awesome D-tackle too. Derek Brown gets double or nothing completely free, which is actually a really good ability. Grants dominant pass rush wins at twice the cost. All right, I wanna see Micah compared to Foyasad. So Foyasad's actually actually faster and he definitely has more change of direction. I'm going to start Foyasad as my user middle linebacker and my secondary middle linebacker will no longer be Ray Nitschke. It will be Micah Parsons. Wow, that feels so weird. It feels weird, but I got to do it. So Lurker and Crusher for f oh my god, I hate that you make me choose. Well, I'll definitely be able to run both. Dude, he can get Acrobat. What? You get one AP Acrobat at middle linebacker? Jesus, that would be nasty, but I'm going to be usering him. So Acrobat won't do me any good, I don't think. I'm gonna go Lurker Crusher on Foyasad. I feel like Acrobat is only useful if it's an AI. Damn, this is a cracked fucking card. And Micah, I could do Crusher for free or Lurker for free. I'm gonna give Micah Crusher for free. Defense, three X Factors, 12 of 12. Special teams, two of two. And offense, 12 of 12. Ladies and dudes, I, guys, I might even start tearing up, man. I really might start tearing up. Madden 23 Wheel of Money has been so fucking good. And it's thanks to every single one of you who shows up, stays invested, and watches this shit, man, because I would not do this without you guys. Win the Super Bowl to become a season's champion. And that's what I'm going to do right now. There is no challenge wheel. There is only winning. I am not losing this game. I've never felt so good, so inspired, so motivated to get a dub for the boys. I only feel bad that Fierce Snows spent all this time grinding to the Super Bowl. Let's go, baby. We're sending heat. Don't you dare run that ball. Yeah. Ooh, good ball. Good ball. Another play action. He doesn't have anything. Don't you dare. What the fuck? And it's to Scary Terry. Nice ball. Honestly, honestly, respect. I can't believe it. PA boot over. He was so patient. Got a pass here. He checks it down to Marcus Allen. Clay's get up. Dude, he's getting big yards. Three for three, 52. That's no good. Why is Aluakon on the ground? Foyasad fell. Oh, no. what's going on? This is a horrible start to the bowl. Oh, I knew it. Yes. Good stuff. Coverage, coverage, dock it. I'm on Aluakon. Oh, he might run this ball. Oh, he does. Flat. Aaron Donald gets pancaked and he just walks it in. All right, let's settle in. Weird kick. Really weird kick. He really... Let Barry go there. This is definitely man coverage. But, oh, beauty. What happened to you, sir? Guess pass? Everybody bailed right there. It was man coverage, but Barry was able to pick up some serious yardage. Okay, looking for the stretch. He might expect it right up the middle again. Oh, great blocking once again from the boys. Oh, Megatron with one hell of a route. He's gonna switch on. Hey, you got chunk yardage. I got chunk yardage too. We're averaging 11 yards per play right now. Got time. Got time. I lost that ball. I thought maybe one of his D linemen was gonna scoop it up. I was gonna cry. Second and 10. We're all right. We're all right. Hey, we got the ball off. We don't lose the big yardage. I gotta look at Jefferson here. Oh, Jefferson's. Oh, no, he does it. The user. Abraham Lucas. Oh, damn it. I did not see him following that. Oh, no. What a horrible start. This is not looking good, boys. He runs the rock. 
He gets hit hard. That's a crusher hit from Eric Berry. I'm going with a blitz. I'm going on the QB with Foyasad here. Oh, big time! Let's go! Third and seven. Fumble would have been nice. Okay, throw short. Oh, no way. I'm getting punished for my Scary Terry decision. Might just be another run play here. I'm sending the zone blitz. Oh, it is. Yep. Okay, decent stop. He's chewing clock. He's trying to chew clock. Second and six. Let's see what he's got. Oh, yeah! Sack! For your shot. For your shot. Stepping up big. But I don't know if it's going to be enough. I absolutely have to score before half or I lose this game. If I can sack him, he might be out of field goal range. Let's go! We didn't sack him, but we got this. Ooh, so he's got to kick his field goal here. 10 to 0. I can score 7 to 10 ball at half. We survived that drive. That's good news. Fuck. No way I didn't get that off. Are you kidding me? Second and 30 because of that whack ass animation. Oh my god, I threw that away so early. Wound up the fucking lawnmower. Luckily, George Kittle drops it. No way. I think I have Megatron. Drops it. What the fuck is this? How did everybody just drop their pass? Fourth and 30. I can't go for this. Unfucking believable. If he scores here, I lose. It really is. It's just about whether he scores here or not. Second and goal. If I can stop him here, we can still win. Third and goal. Uses last time out. If I can stop him here, we can still win. Where the fuck? You Good hit, Matthews! Fourth and goal. He's going to take his field goal. I don't think I've ever gone a whole Super Bowl putting up zero in the first half. Start out with a run play. I'm going to go right side. I'm going to get some solid ball. I should have been running the fuck it, dude. Throwing the ball so well. The minute I start passing, I'm throwing pick after pick. Another run play. Nothing going on that one. Great work, gentlemen. Great work. Oh, George Kittle. You. Hell of a route, buddy. Oh, Barry fucking Sanders. Hell of a route, buddy. <laughs> Not fast enough. You got to be quicker than that. George Kittle's going to be wide open. Tell him. Tell him, Meeks. Barry fucking torched him. Get your ass to Let's go! A minute 12. He's gonna be chewing clock so aggressively. He can do everything he can to burn that clock. I'm gonna do everything I can to stop him. Good hit. Good stop. Throws one deep. <laughs> Risky man! It's third and 17, and that clock is stopped. It's not ticking now, boys. Get the fuck out of here! There's no way you just caught that in double coverage! You're kidding me. This is spectacular defense. That's fucked up. Unfucking believable. We love to see that. Fuck out of here! What is this shit? Fuck you! I'm a lot less mad about that than this other stuff, man. This has been crazy. You got a whole lot of nothing. Stabler goes down. It's a 12-point game. I can't even be mad, though. My first half was so bad. Like, I can't blame anybody but myself. What a route. Look at Megatron. Let me snap it. God damn, I got shit to do here. Oh! No fucking way! No fucking way, George Kildren! Just... Oh, I just watched Gronk fucking moss me on that same ball. How did he drop that? God, I'm getting pissed, man. Ed Reed can't catch Megatron. Two minute warning burns here. Caught that one. 14-19. It ain't over till it's over. Minute 56, three timeouts. Bah! I wanted the crusher hit there. Passing. Nice. Nice play. Oh, no! I knew he'd be there. Now he punts. Forces me. No way, Barry. Oh, you're not even going to give me a chance, Barry?
Played such a good second half, dude. Played such a good second half. That Harold Carmichael catch, man, is gonna live in my head forever. That was such a pitiful first half, though. I didn't even give myself a chance. What a horrible first half, man. This is fucked up. This is absolutely fucked up, man. It's third and 17. Okay, so he gets he gets nice blocks. That's great. This is double covered. Oh, you got Mel Blunt in perfect position. You've got Eric Berry right there. Like how, man? That ball had just smacked two people's helmets. And he scores on this pass to Gronk. Uh, it was a good, it was a good throw. I got, there's no issue here. It was a good throw and a good catch. I got mossed again. Oh, I would have rather lost in the wild card. I would have rather lost in the NFC championship. I would have rather never made the playoffs than lose in the Super Bowl, man. Oh, I feel like, a, I feel like I let all of you down. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Damn, man. I'm so sorry. It was a bad taste in my mouth, man. This is, this is brutal. Oh, I hate to look at this team and realize that I couldn't, I couldn't pull it off. I love you boys. Thanks for watching as always. I'm not going out like this.